Wow. Put in the last footage of my phone number. I need to put my seat belt on, otherwise it's not gonna go. Start. See these cars actually parked on the side of the road, taking part of the road. This car will automatically turn into the next lane. It must have some sort of um, a sensor all around this car. Oh, pedestrian. It's a green light, but there's a pedestrian in front of us. Oh, you, you, you slow down. Oh, you let pedestrian go first. Even there's a green light. Look, there's a green light, but this car stops. This thing's smart. Wow, you have all this. Oh, you can, you can, you can listen to music, I think. This thing's so cool, man. Hey, but I can't put this on YouTube, this song. So I have to turn it off. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I haven't got the right to play this song on YouTube. Is, it, is there any car? No cars coming. It's all music. What about aircon? Oh, there's a temperature. You can control the aircon temperature. So the speed is 30 kilometers per hour. That's the highest I've seen it go. Oh, 40. 50. It stops right when the lights are about to turn yellow. I think this car must have a system connecting with all the traffic lights so it will actually read how many seconds left to actually calculate the distance. Driverless taxi, often referred to as a robot taxi, are becoming increasingly common in China as part of the country's push towards advanced transportation technologies. As a leading player in the autonomous driving space in China, Baidu has launched robot taxi services in various cities including Wuhan, Beijing, Guangzhou and so on. These taxis are equipped with a suite of sensors including LIDAR, radar and cameras, combined with AI algorithms to navigate and make driving decisions. The deployment of 5G networks enhances the real-time communication capabilities of autonomous vehicles, allowing for quicker decision-making and more reliable navigation. Many of these services initially deployed with safety driver on board to monitor the system and take control if necessary. Oh. Over time, as the technology proves its reliability, Fully driverless operations are becoming more common. Passengers can hail a taxi using apps like Robot Runs. It is actually named Carrot Runs because of the similar pronunciation of Carrot Luobo in Chinese and the Robot in English. So there are currently 500 of these taxis running in Wuhan and it cover the most important part of the city. And a lot of Chinese people are actually taking these no driver taxi at night time after work when it's really late. And girls, they will take these taxis to, to make sure they can arrive in their destination safe and sound. Alright, so let's go. Oh, bye. You will never wave back. <laughs> this is the coolest taxi I've ever seen. Wow, so that's the trip. That's my first trip taking a non-driver taxi around a city. You walk in, you run in with every other car on the road. This is my first time. Is this your first time? And how do you feel? I feel so excited. I want to do it again. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comment below. I'll see you in the next video.